Hi, it's Jill from Jelly Bean Studio. I hope you can join me today for a flip through of a completed accordion style junk journal. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm glad you're here. So it is done friends. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Junk Journal July and this chubby, cute accordion junk journal. <laughs> so much fun playing in this little one. I tell you, I haven't done an accordion journal in a while and Junk Journal July was a perfect time to give it a try. It's hosted by Meg at Meg Journals, if you're not familiar with it, and Get Messy Art. Really enjoyed the prompts each day and also the inspiration from all the other collaborators and channels that joined in as well. Also today, I have a finished, yay, <laughs> I love the word finished, July Creative Journal. And that's done in a little dollar craft notebook. It's a pen and gear notebook. Some wonderful black coffee this morning. That's hitting the spot. So I hope you grab something you, that you enjoy, whether you craft along or simply have a cup of something. And for today's video, I'm gonna do just a moment or two of catch up for August journaling. So I'm gonna use a craft notebook again for the month of August. And I love it, it's 30 pages in the craft notebooks and I usually glue either two or three pages together. So I'll get into more of that in a bit. And I have new printables. So these are free if you wanna enjoy them. They're in my Kofi app. I'll link them in the description box below. And it's the little coffee cup in the banner. So just quickly, in June, I glued two pages together and had a good time in, I think it was my first craft notebook. I've been using the larger composition notebooks lately. For July, I glued three pages together, so that was 10 pages to work in, and I think I'm gonna do that the same in August. So for right now, I'm going to focus on kind of getting organized. <laughs> and part of that is also doing a new junk journal. So I think for August, I'm gonna use this little rice peel-off box and do another junk journal. So my current plans are gonna to be to work in August in two journals again. And I'm, I'm really loving that because Doing that in July, I haven't worked in two journals in a while. So more to come in the next video on that. More coffee now, please. <laughs> and for the rest of today's video, I am gonna go through a full flip through of the junk journal July completed pages. So I would love to know if you participated, what you enjoyed, what maybe are some of your favorites. For me, right out of the box, this little netting that I just showed you from the Dollar Tree was one of my favorites. I just, it was something I picked up. I love the color green and I think I used quite a few splashes of green in this journal and yeah, right out of the box, I think just doing that cover and adding that tiny bit of netting in the top part, I really enjoyed. So jumping into prompt number one, which was good vibes, I altered a photograph from a beach that we enjoy in Rhode Island. I live in Connecticut, so Rhode Island is close by. And definitely good vibes for those morning beach walks. And then pop of color was prompt two. So enjoying a little bit of watercolor. And then those are some flowers that I dried from the garden. I also did a little more color with these little quick sticks. I find they're tempera paints that go on really easily and dry almost instantly. And then prompt four was tickets and tags. 
So that little tag with the flower. And then this is actually prompt three, which is negative space. And this, <laughs> this whole dino layout cracks me up. And I ended up by making those little cutouts with the scissors and the pencils and all of that, making them into printables. So they are also in my Kofi app for free. So those were my new July printables, all inspired by Junk Journal July. All right, now there's a lot of flip-flopping here. Um, prompt five was fold out, six was layers on layers, and prompt seven was framed. So these are sort of the pages that have those prompts going. Love all that collaging. A little bit of wallpaper, lots of scrapbook scraps. Scrapbook scraps. <laughs> and then that little grungy flower is the actual framed one that I did for prompt number seven. Sometimes I had an extra page or two and you know you just keep going to fill the journal. Moving along to prompt eight on the left was brown paper. I used a Trader Joe's bag. Yeah let's see eight, nine, and 10, I think are these pages. No, 11 too. So balance is in the middle with the seashell. I tried to do a balance of the whole spread with the large spread in the middle and the two small spreads on the side. Stripped back are all those paper strips. And then on the far right, 11 is paper samples. All right, moving on on the left is gratitude. I love those little charms. And that little strip of, of lace. And I just did a, some script, some handwriting. And then on the right is details. A lot of little, little details and scraps that are framing that flower, which is, I think, yeah, that's a sticker actually. Prompt 14 and 15 are on the opposite pages actually. So this is tucked away and I made that little envelope because the book page had the, the postman on it. And then to the right, prompt 14 is torn. Tore some old book pages and stenciled it with that cute little seahorse stencil. I'm loving that stencil. I don't know where I got that, but I've been using that over and over this summer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> prompt 16, clearly maximalism. Went to town with washi. And I'm not sure you can see the glitter Mod Podge that well, but then glittered it up. Prompt 19, nope, prompt 17 rather, is pause. I just did a little bit of journaling on that flashcard made a pocket because we're almost to the end of the front side of the journal. Actually, we we basically are. Now this becomes the back of the journal. And that was favorite supplies, which really, <laughs> how do we choose, right? So I ended up grabbing a Uniball Signo gel pen, which is a favorite supply. I also used some Sharpie markers, packaging, little button. I guess papers and pens are definitely up there for favorite supplies. And here we are. One side done and now flipping to the other. So this next one was interactive and I added a little bag that almost makes a kind of a booklet. And then inside I tucked prompt 20, which is letter to myself. Wrote a little note. I love documenting in my journals and writing. I do that all the time in my, my composition notebooks or creative notebooks, which are really to me junk journals. And then let's see, okay, this is all the way prompt 23. So it kind of gets, you know how it goes, you have them here and there across the accordion pages. So 23 was overlap and I made that ATC. And again, that, that beekeeper is 21 in contrast. And I really, I brought in that green paint, which was a little different for me. 
I really, I kind of like this little bit of netting over the waterfall of the vintage picture, which was prompt 24, very vintage. And let me just scooch this down. Yeah, prompt 25 is photograph. <laughs> Don't you love it? That back in the day portable garden pool. Oh my goodness. Now, I'm pretty sure this is prompt 28, yeah. So this is upcycled. I upcycled that sunshine card is actually an old library card. And then prompt 26 is cozy. And that pineapple, it just, you know how it's like hospitality or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's where my brain went for cozy, like just being home and hanging out. Okay, now we are moving on again. Oh goodness, so yeah, I did it folks. Look at this. Prompts, let's see, 27 is postcard and I made these tiny little postcards inspired by Meg's tiny postcards and then I made a playlist which really I just wrote Adele because I love her music but I staple those postcards in friends. I cannot get them out, <laughs> not on purpose. Yep. Oh well. And then 28, yeah, I said that was upcycled and playlist. Okay, so this is where I have more pages. So I just kept filling the pages because you never exactly know when you add your signatures. And now I'm moving into the spread, which is in the garden, prompt 30. Just did a lot of collaging. And again, this is kind of an extra page continued that actually that sea turtle is from a little bit of artwork that I made that I actually have framed in my house. But that is a little miniature picture of it. Added some cute little florals. Love that washi tape. And let me just get this folded. Yeah, I put, of course, the junk journal July. I have it on the front and the back. <laughs> I have the prompts everywhere in this journal. So finish that fold out. And then this is really the grand finale, which is prompt 31, nostalgia. And I did a little bit of writing, fussy cut that flower. And then this I love is a picture. I've used this picture before too. It's a copy of my sister and I back in the day. This was actually a newspaper photographer took this picture. <laughs> yes, friends, a print newspaper. And then I just wrote a little bit with that, mic that micron pen. And that's it. So fun. Three additional signatures in the accordion book to kind of let it grow. I love that about an accordion junk journal. So thanks to Meg and Get Messy Art and all of the collabs, it was a great time really enjoyed that and if you are interested in at all in these free printables please check that out in my Kofi app i hope you're enjoying your journaling and thank you so much for watching